Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level further maths. Here we're looking at how we would perform a linear transformation on a root or on an equation um, to give us some related roots and therefore a related equation. So we can answer questions from exercise 4e. So here is the type of question we can be expected to be answering. Uh, we're given a, um, a cubic equation, roots alpha, beta, gamma, and we have to find the related equation that has roots 2 alpha, 2 beta, and 2 gamma. Um, in part b, we're then going to transform our roots by adding on 3 each time. So we're gonna, the question is to find a related equation to this that gives these roots rather than alpha, beta, gamma. Okay, so... The method we're going to use is substitution. I'm just going to show you how it works here and then we'll apply the maths afterwards. Now let's say this is our, it's not because it's a quadratic clearly here, but this is our, um, say that this is our starting equation. And what we want to do here is we want to effectively double the roots. So we want to stretch it out by a factor of two. Now what transformation would that be? Um, it's, it's going to be inside the bracket because it's affecting x coordinates but remember inside the brackets requires an inverse or an opposite kind of transformation so in this case here the function is going to be f of a half x or the transformation applied is going to be f of a half x so what's going to happen therefore is that each of these x's inside the brackets here are now going to be replaced with half x's. We can see how this is arrived at. If we set, for example, a w equals 2x, w here is representing all of the new roots, effectively, and um, x here is representing all of the old roots. So you can clearly see where that formula comes from there, w equals 2x, and then we just rearrange it to get x in terms of w, so w over 2 equals x. So what we're effectively going to do now is substitute in x with w over 2. So take your original equation and substitute in w over 2. Okay, so it's effectively the opposite or the inverse transformation that we're going to be substituting in um, yeah, so substitute in w over 2 and now expand the brackets. So we get this term here. Um, and generally, we're going to want the answers with integer coefficients. Now, the common factor, um, least common factor out of all of these terms here is 8. So we're going to be multiplying through by 8 so that all of the values are real. So it's w cubed minus 4w squared plus 12w minus 32. And that is the answer. If this is our um, if this is our cubic equation, then the roots here are going to be two alpha, two beta, and two gamma relative to this equation with roots of alpha, beta, gamma. Okay, so it's kind of two steps. This sort of question here. We first need to find the transformation, and then we substitute in the transformation here, just making sure that the final answer only has whole numbers in it. In this case here, what equation do we need to set up initially? Well, the new roots, w, w is effectively the list of new roots, is equal to the old roots, add on 3. Alpha, beta, gamma, add on 3, gives us our new roots of alpha plus 3, beta plus 3, and gamma plus 3. Rearrange this, so w minus 3 equals x, and then substitute w minus 3 into our original cubic. Try and do this as efficiently as possible and simplify and we get w cubed minus 11w squared plus 42w minus 58 equals 0. Okay, so that's how we do these questions here. Now the final question here is going to involve two transformations. We can see here we have as difficult a question as it can be. We have a quartic equation with roots alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and we need to find the equation with roots 2 alpha plus 1, 2 beta plus 1, 2 gamma plus 1, and 2 delta plus 1. So it's only ever going to be a multiply or add type transformation. It's not going to be a square type transformation. So what do we need to do? Well, we first need to find the transformation. W equals 2x plus 1. 
rearrange to make w to make x the subject. We're going to take one away first and then half. So w minus 1 over 2 is equal to x. And now we substitute this into the original equation, into that quartic equation we had earlier. So it's w minus 1 over 2 to the power 4 minus 3 times w minus 1 to the, over 2 to the cubed plus 15 w minus 1 over 2 plus 1 equals 0. What I'd first do is expand the denominators first. That's going to be easier to do than expanding it all at once. Multiply it all through by 16, so at least we're only then working with whole numbers and we've got no fractions involved. We may have to multiply the coefficient at the front as well. You can see here on the second term, we have a fraction of divided by 8. Now, if we're times in by 16 here, that's going to leave us with 2. So the 2 is going to be incorporated in with 3 here, so now it's just 6. Similarly with the 2 here, if we times a half by 16, we get 4. Uh, 8, so it's 15 times 8 is 120. And don't forget to times the 16 by the 1 at the end as well. And now we can expand this term here, try and do it as efficiently as possible. You may be able to recall the binomial expansion rule um, from A level maths, which is a, a good sneaky way of doing it first. And to cut a long story short, here is the final answer. W4 minus 10W cubed plus 24W squared plus 98W minus 97 equals 0. And this here will have roots of 2 alpha plus 1, 2 beta plus 1, 2 gamma plus 1, and 2 delta plus 1. All right, your turn to have a go at um, this equation here then. Pause the video and try this question out. Alright, so we've got a question here that's as difficult as possible. The first thing we need to do here is to substitute in uh, w equals 2 alpha plus 1. Sorry, not 2 alpha. We're going to use x to represent all of those alpha, beta, gamma uh, roots. And then we're going to rearrange to make x the subject just like this. So w minus 1 over 2 is equal to x. And now we substitute this into the original equation, the original cubic. So w minus 1 over 2 cubed minus 3 w minus 1 over 2 squared plus 4 lots of w minus 1 over 2 uh, minus 7 equals 0. The first thing to do will be to expand the um, fractions on the bottom, so we'll have over 8 here, minus 3, w minus 1, all over 4 here. This would just be 2, we can simplify that to start with. Uh, best thing to do now is be to times through by 8, so w minus 1 cubed minus... Now if we have times in 3 by 8 here, then this 3 needs to be times by 2. And if I'm times in 3 by 8 here, this is now a 16. And 7 times 8 is 56. All right then, so the next thing to do will be to expand this um, cubic expression here. So it's going to be w cubed minus 3w squared plus 3w minus 1 minus 6w. Whoops, I missed the squared off of this term here. So 6w squared, um, and then it's going to be minus plus 12w minus 6 plus 16w minus 16 minus 56 equals 0. And now we'll tidy this up. w cubed minus 9w squared. Uh, 3 plus 12, that's 15, plus another 16, that's 31, so 31 w and then simplify up the numbers we're going to get minus 1 minus 6 that's minus 7 minus another 16 that's minus 23 uh, so this will be minus 79 in total all right then so there we are that's how we do these types of problems here two-step problem really finds the substitution you need to apply remember it involves a bit of rearranging 
and then substitute into your original equation um, and just make sure that all of the final values are integers because that is probably what the question is going to ask for. Alright then, so have plenty of practice on exercise 4e. This probably isn't as difficult an exercise as 4d was, um, so hopefully this is, is back to something a bit more um, approachable, but there is going to be a lot of um, algebra. Make sure you don't fall into the trap of missing out a small term anywhere. Um, okay, so yeah, thanks very much for watching, and have a go at lots of questions.